And we are now learning new details about the controversy surrounding an NFL football team that some are calling Deflate Gate. Patriots coach Bill Belichick said his team had nothing to do with deflated footballs that were found after a playoff game. Instead, he offered a scientific explanation, saying the weather deflated the balls instead. And a nun in Arizona isn't letting the recent NFL controversy get her down. Instead, she's offering her monastery up as a place for fans to stay during the big game. For $300 a night, visitors can stay at Our Lady of Guadalupe Monastery, just miles from the Super Bowl Stadium in Glendale. The monastery comes with a continental breakfast and free Wi-Fi, but of course, no drinking, no smoking or swearing. It's all thanks to Sister Linda Campbell. She's a nun and a serious football fan. She says her and her sisters love the game so much that this year they'll be opening their convent to both Patriots and Seahawks fans. I wanted folks to know that nuns enjoy sports as much as everybody else does and that the monastery is a great place. And all of the money raised from the Super Bowl will go to one of the monastery's charities. Well, stars of the entertainment world are gearing up for the 2015 Screen Actors Guild Awards happening tonight in Los Angeles. Some of the big nominations for leading actors are Steve Carell from Foxcatcher, Benedict Cumberbatch from Imitation Game, Jake Gyllenhaal for Nightcrawler, and in the leading actress category, SAG voters nominated Jennifer Aniston in Cake and Felicity Jones in The Theory of Everything. Birdman, Boyhood, and The Grand Budapest Hotel are also up for full cast nominations. The show starts tonight at 8 p.m. on cables TBS and TNT. No health insurance yet? Well, you may want to stick around. A local event is helping those who haven't signed up yet to enroll in Cover California. How you and your family can get covered. Plus, theft at Apple. Police still looking for two suspects that stole property from a store at the Valley Plaza Mall. What authorities are saying about the suspects? Well, good morning, and thank you for joining us at 8.30. Some changes are coming, Leah. Woo! Changes and surprises in store. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely. All right, thank you so much for that, Leah. Happening today a special events to help those still needing to register for Covered California. Dignity Health is providing free last-minute Covered California enrollment assistance, and the event will be in both English and Spanish, and will be held at the Plaza del Pueblo at the Mercado Latino on Edison Highway. Registration is from 4 to 7 p.m. And remember all the personal information you shared when you signed up for Obamacare? Well, turns out the federal government gave some of it to private companies. Advertising service and companies like Google, Twitter, and Yahoo use your information, like your zip code, income level, and also health information as well. But two Republican senators sent a letter to the administration citing privacy and security concerns. And now the department says it will no longer give out users' information. Well, listen up, brides, if you're looking for a couple extra ideas or just don't know where to start with those wedding plans, the Kern County Bridal Expo is where you should go today. And 23 ABC's Leslie Marine is live from the Kern County Fairgrounds with more on what new brides can expect. Good morning, Leslie. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Leslie, you're a stunning bride. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Okay, well, this morning, Bakersfield police are asking for your help identifying a suspect that they say robbed a Chase Bank off Stockdale Highway. Police say a man walked in and handed the teller a note saying he was armed and he wanted money, and he then walked out and headed southeast. Investigators described the man as black in his mid-20s between 5'9 and 6'2. He was last seen wearing tan overalls, a black Letterman style jacket, and an Atlanta Braves hat with a red bill. Anyone with information is asked to call Bakersfield Police at 327-7111. And police are also looking for suspects responsible for a string of shoplifting crimes at the Valley Plaza Mall. And the crimes have taken place over the past two months. In October, an Xbox console was stolen in the parking lot. And then multiple bottles of cologne and several shirts were stolen from Abercrombie and Fitch. Sears also had clothing stolen as well, but the crime spree didn't stop there. In December, Sephora had a large amount of merchandise stolen from them as well. All this as police continue to investigate yet another instance of shoplifting from a local Apple store. That happened on December 6th at around 8.30 at night and police say the suspects walked into the Apple store at the Valley Plaza Mall as well and hid merchandise inside bags and then left the store without paying. 
BPD are still looking for those two suspects. According to police, one is a white or Hispanic woman in her 20s with shoulder length hair. She was last seen wearing glasses, a gray hoodie and black pants. The second suspect is a Hispanic man in his 30s with a heavy build and he has short, dark receding hair and was wearing a T-shirt, gray sweatshirt and blue jeans. Anyone with information on those two are urged to call Bakersfield Police. High winds in California causing dangers for cars Why CHP officers were forced to close down a portion of the freeway on the way to San Diego coming up. Thank you, Leah. If you haven't already noticed, you may have seen a few people walking around Bakersfield in costume. That's because today is the second day of the city's anime con. And yesterday, hundreds of people flooded this year's convention dressed as Pokemon, princesses, and superheroes. The event also had a series of panels led by anime and video game experts and also voice actors such as Kyle Hubert from Wreck-It Ralph. Other panelists told fans how to build the best costumes on a budget. 23 ABC checked with some fans who say the convention just keeps on getting bigger and better. I think this time is a lot better. It's more spread out. It's bigger. Uh, there's a little more things to do as well. In the past, uh, there would be a huge crowd in the morning time, and it would uh, slowly dissipate during the day. Today, there's been a crowd the entire time. And the convention continues this morning at 10 a.m. at the Marriott Hotel. Tickets are $10 at the door. For more information, just head over to our website at turnto23.com. Well, looking for a new sidekick? Alfred has your back, and he's also looking for a new little friend. Find out how you can take him home when 23 ABC News returns. If you have an event you'd like us to showcase during our What's Happening segment, just send us an email to events at KERO.com. If you're looking for a new little pet to call your own, Alfred could be the new doggy for you. Here's Kern County Animal Services' Maggie Kalar with today's Pet of the Weekend. Well, listen up, brides. If you're looking for a couple extra ideas or just don't know where to start with those wedding plans, the Kern County Bridal Expo is where you should go today. And 23ABC's Leslie Marine is live from the Kern County Fairgrounds with more on what new brides can expect. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Lindsay. We've gone over. Oh, didn't know it was so big, Leslie. That is an important event. Very, very good stuff there. Thank you. Great tips as well. Well, only small cars were able to drive on Interstate 8 in San Diego over the weekend after CHP officers closed down a portion of that road. Authorities were forced to close down the road due to heavy winds that overturned a big rig. This was near the intersection of Highway 79. Videos captured on cell phones show howling winds blowing around trees just east of Alpine. Even a metal flagpole is rocking back and forth with the flag wavering in the wind. And Leah, wind speeds over here a little bit calmer than how they were near San Diego. <laughs> How's it all looking outside? Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. We are still going to do you love the rain and the fog and the sun and the breezes. We've yes. got a little bit of everything. I know. It's kind of rare that we see so much activity here in the weather department. Yeah, and we're tracking it all, all week for you. Absolutely. Doing good at, <laughs> doing good at it as well. Yeah. <laughs> all you. right. Well, coming up, a medical masterpiece. A seventh grader goes above and beyond to help millions of people find a cheaper way to read. How much he paid to make a braille printer coming up when 23 ABC News returns. A teen in Santa Clara has found a new way to help millions of people all by using Legos. Shoebomb Banerjee loves building Legos, but his creation is no toy. Instead, it's a printer for the blind that uses Braille, and he calls it Brago. It was designed as part of his school science project to prove that the machine could be made, and the normal cost of a Braille printer is around $2,000 and up. He says he made his with a Lego Mindstorm kit for about $350. At least one engineering company so far has made an undisclosed investment into the device. And this morning, some kids in Minnesota have found a creative way to shovel snow from the comfort of their own home. It's all thanks to this, a hands-free snow plow. A team of students at Dunwoody There's College created it as part of the snow autonomous snow plow contest. This. The team there uses math, science, and engineering skills to create a machine that's hands-free. From there, each snowplow is a showcase of design and innovation. And like any competition, bragging rights are on the line, but these students know they may be paving the way for the future of snow removal. That's, that's smart. Pretty, yeah, that's pretty cool. It is. I know. You don't have to get frost, you know, your hands won't get frostbitten and right. do it right from home. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a good, a good invention. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, luckily, we don't have to deal with snow here. We're just dealing with the fog, of course. 40 degrees outside right now. Visibility less than a mile, so please be careful if you are traveling out on the roads there this morning. Be great. Absolutely. Our forecast not looking like a broken record <laughs> as it usually does. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah.